Hi, today in this video, you will learn about MBBM architecture in Android. Before discussing MBBM architecture, let's talk about why we use architecture patterns. So the main purpose to use architecture pattern is to organize a project in a proper way so that the code get covered in the unit test and it help us to maintain our software. We can easily add or remove the features and developers can keep track of the various logical parts so that's why we use architecture patterns so what is mbvm architecture mbvm architecture is model view view model architecture that eliminates the tight coupling among every element so the importance of the architecture is to keep our project loosely coupled which means keep all the information in our project separate meaning each component has little or no knowledge about the others. This is especially critical in a large project due to the fact things are get messy quite easily and, and the end result is unmaintainable. So it's difficult to test and maintain because every parts are depend on each other. That's why we have used the architecture patterns to make our code maintainable, easy to test, and understand so here mbbm architecture eliminates the tight coupling among every elements there are other architecture patterns like mbc mbp and mbbm we can use any of these architecture pattern because every architecture pattern has its own advantages and disadvantages but is highly recommended by the google and the android developer team to use mbbm architecture and there are other advantages to use MBVM architecture is make our project loosely coupled, easy to maintain, simple to add a new feature or remove existing, easy testing. It gives excellent structure to your project and make it easy to understand your code. Now, next is MBVM architecture. First is view. This part of our architecture help us build our user interface and only part our users can interact directly the purpose of this layer is to inform the view model about the user action and is observes the view model now next is view model view model object act as an intermediate between view and model this means that it present data for the ui components like fragments and activities and it also include data holders like called live data that allows view model to inform or update the view whenever the data is get updated now next is model it represents the data and the business logic of android application model is responsible for fetching the data from local sqlite database or from a web server so here Repository is responsible for handling the data information that include where to get the data from either a web server or the persistent data model. Now, RU, it is ORM provided by Google, which provides an abstract layer between the SQLite database and our data in the form of objects. It gives us errors in compile time, which is much better than runtime error which is difficult to track and debug. Now the web server, if you wish to access data from the REST API, we have a library called Retrofit and it helps us make our network calls. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.